Okay, let me get started. I'm a member of a movement against uh, capture of lakes. In Russia, access to shoreline is provided by law, but oftentimes the laws are broken. Also, there is a Green Coalition of St. Petersburg. This is a, a grouping of uh, uh, different organizations that uh, try to protect different parks. I will try to cover the northern part of St. Petersburg. Uh, this map shows the points in Primorsk region, which I'm going to cover. First, I will go over key problems that we're faced with. First of all is the wash over or wash out territories. They grow like mushrooms. It's just that uh, regions in Russia are not evenly developed. So people are drawn, drawn to uh, Moscow and St. Petersburg. In St. Petersburg, there are a lot of heritage sites that are protected, so not much you can build. So uh, there are a lot of supporters and proponents that you need to use wash up territories. Another problem is the unthinking which is done when building the alluvial territories in the water areas that can really contaminate the coastal zone. Next is the destruction of coastlines during storms. And these are federal waters and the urban municipality has no power to do anything beyond the coastal area. Whenever the land stops, this is no longer a jurisdiction of the local municipality, in spite of the fact that the survey was done and we say have developed a comp comprehensive um, coastal area strengthening project. So the local municipality is not in power to implement it. Also, say, whenever something is built on the border of uh, Primorsky and uh, resort area, it's which is not protected and the process of uh, washing out has become even more prominent. In our area, we have the absolute majority of beaches. Another problem is the massive development of coastal recreation area with apartments because our laws uh, prohibit the construction of residential areas in the coastal area, but they instead build not residential areas, but hotels, but they sell apartments or rooms in the hotels as apartments. So basically we have residential areas instead. Next problem is the development of reserves. There are plans to build new reserves on coastal areas and within the city limits, which is good. But so far, while the reserve is just planned, it has no such protection status and often the development companies uh, occupy the area quicker than the reserve is proclaimed there. Now I will speak in greater detail about each one of these challenges. The first challenge that I personally encountered as an activist as early as in 2011-2012 are the alluvial areas. That's how I continued my activist activities next to Sestrorezk, they decided to create an artificial island, calling it New Shore. Here you can see it on the map, highlighted with the areas which do not exist. In fact, they exist only in the master plan. They had to be created through alleviation. The project was pegged originally for 2012, but then there was a public outcry and there was a public uh, hearing organized. Uh, scientists were commissioned to speak uh, against such project. And also through the local MPs, we managed to lobby the closure of this project by uh, stripping it of the strategic um, classification because the investor was so smart that at the initial stage 
they wanted to pay the design using the budget funds by calling it a strategic project. So after they lost the strategic naming, uh, they lost interest in it and it's still on paper, but it's still in the master plan. And the dark gray areas on the map show the part of the land which are rented by the investor and the city simply doesn't want to sever ties with the investor. And we understand that this project might quite potentially be implemented in one way or another if the economic situation changes or the investor can uh, uh, give away the rights to another one who will be willing to implement it. So it's a temporary victory on our side, I would call it. Here, you can see yet an another alluvial territory, a number of islands next to the uh, 300th anniversary of St. Petersburg Park. And the work has already been started. Local residents were uh, saying that before New Year's Eve, they saw construction machinery in this area. As you can see in the master plan of St. Petersburg, the uh, city limits are not drawn on the land, but in the sea area. It was done specifically so that the Gazprom company could start building this alluvial territory and uh, by creating this build-up islands as we call them, because Lachta Center is uh, located quite next to it, built by Gazprom as well. Another project, the Bay of Islands, another alluvial territory plan, which is partially implemented. It is the alluvial territory on the Vasiliev Island. There are a lot of additional land areas attached to it, and they plan to continue this alluviation. They have their own initiative group planning it. Why? alleviation is bad. In fact, the complex of protection uh, facilities like dams and levees were built based on the specific area of the Gulf of Finland. And if we increase the area of land, we reduce the amount of uh, water. And basically, we're increasing the risk of flooding. And uh, the flood can uh, inundate important areas like uh, those of you who used to walk along the uh, banks of St. Petersburg, you could see this uh, flood lines there. This is one threat. Another threat is that alluvial works can lead to an increase in the amount of suspended particles and the water becomes more turbid. And these suspended particles can spread hundreds of kilometers from the work site and they bring with them the alluvial parts, particles, which can lead to deaths of local fish populations. And it's not really good to look at such water because the transparency goes down and its recreational value is deteriorating. That was true about also elevation works done on the Vasiliev Island. Another problem is the buildup on the coastal zone. The real estate built in the coastal area becomes uh, expensive right away because of its location. But as I mentioned in the beginning, in our area, the coast itself is the protected area. It is pro prohibited to build anything there. And uh, often it is used as a recreation area. In Soviet times, there was a place for sanatoria and uh, pioneer camps. But unfortunately, nowadays, business people who buy this real estate, as a rule, they built instead of those hotels, the, as I mentioned previously, the actual residential apartments. Although, according to documents, it is organized as a resort area or a hotel. But uh, in Sestravetsky Dunes, it used to, we used to have the resort area called Dunes. And it was advertised, this project, as a park of health. They promised to build a medicinal center or opening tennis courts. That's what the head of our uh, borough administration told us about. They wrote about it in such magazines as Sabaka. They promised that anyone willing to can go there and do sports. As a result, they built only residential buildings and a restaurant. The territory is totally closed or warded off. And I'm now I'm going to show to you what it looks like. 
on the left photo, you can see how many trees and woody area we had there. And on the right, you can see what is remaining out of that. So basically, uh, it, now it occupies much larger area than the original resort center. And those people who are buying real estate here, they're not really afraid of the risks that are run by this area because uh, the coastal zones uh, run the risk of flooding, as I mentioned previously. And uh, this autumn, we had a second case already when the owners of these apartments lost their cars under the water during the flood because their parking lot was totally inundated. The next problem related partially to the previous one is the slow uh, uh, protection of our protected areas. We have a total of 16 special protected areas and uh, uh, some of them are being incremented on. Incrementally, uh, 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 we have the northern coast of uh, Neva area. The blue square shows Sestrarevsk. It can improve the situation because here we have plans to build three reserves and very soon before 2025. But unfortunately, these plans can be undermined. Sestrarevsk, in principle, is located between the Sestrarevsk Razlif Lake and the Gulf of Finland. The water goes drains into the Gulf of Finland. Here we have Dukovsky Cape, where we have the cultural heritage site. And another bank is Gagarka Cape. This is where we have plans to organize a reserve. Also, we have Tarkovsky Cape to the south. We also have plans to organize a reserve there. Here, a bit to the north, you can see it here on the map. We have Sisteriets Dunes, where this uh, park hotel was built. Now they started the construction on the Gagarka uh, Cape uh, of another apartment hotel. And eventually we can lose this area, uh, despite the plans to build the reserve there, because if they build a huge uh, parking lot for hundreds of cars, it is uh, lethal for the bird populations living there. Another thing to share with you, uh, some other speakers mentioned it, the coastal areas are very valuable in terms of biodiversity. There are a number of species which can live only in such hydrological conditions. They require inundated or waterlogged areas like in this coasts or shallow waters. As a result, it's impossible to relocate them or replant them so that they would continue their existence there in Sistaryetsk. For instance, we have a big population of such plant as uh, red, we have uh, on the Gagarka Cape, they have uh, older um, uh, trees with a lot of woodpecker population. Here I have another Sestaretsk photo. This is Dubkovsky Cape, Gagarka uh, Cape. They have water sports club Sestaretsk and fish base. And right next to it, they start the construction of an apart hotel. This here on the map, you can see the area which underwent the uh, environmental survey and they potentially could have included into the reserve. To some reason or not, they decided to cut it in two and the remaining area will be built over. This is what the part hotel will look like if they go through with this project. I have only one case to tell you about, which is the accommodation of beach areas. It all started in 2018 when they covered with concrete a beach, not on the Gulf of Finland, but in the Sistravetsky Razliv uh, Lake. And we found out that there is a accommodation program called Comfortable Urban Area, a federal program. They have developed the whole concept for the accommodation of all the beaches of the territory out of 24 beaches of St. Petersburg, 14 are located in the resort area more than half of all the beaches. Moreover, all the official beaches on the Gulf of Finland are located in our district on the southern 
uh, coast, there are no official beaches. All of them are on either lakes or ponds. But in the Primorsky district, the neighboring one, the, their beaches have been accommodated based on this concept. On Sidupki beach, we see that it was covered by concrete tiles and uh, boardwalk deciding that this would be, this is how they're going to accommodate this beach. And what did it lead to? Within just a few months, everything was broken down by storms. 55 million wasted. Um, they destroyed the beach and uh, failed with the improvement of the comfortable environment. In the attempt to save the equipment and uh, children's grounds, so they continued to make mistakes. They decided to build a uh, new concrete dam to save uh, child, child swings and uh, benches. It led to this uh, still water area where water is standing still. So the landscape architects there who drew this beautiful picture but didn't consider the coastal processes because they didn't know anything about it. They simply spoiled this beautiful place. The only beautiful beach in the Gulf of Finland in the Primoria district in the 300th anniversary park. We wanted to gentrify another beach, lay new surfacing on the playgrounds. But then we, we saw what happened to, in our neighbor's backyard. Uh, this is Sestoretsky Beach, which was also to be modernized. The idea to modernize didn't go away, but now they're utilizing participatory approach. And uh, the officials have now taken heed of uh, what uh, locals had to say. They abandoned the idea to lay cement, lay concrete uh, on the ground. In, in fact, they used uh, concrete slabs as opposed to pouring concrete, which can be removed easily. And it has little uh, detriment. I hope uh, our next speaker, Alexander Brau, will excuse me for uh, sharing this uh, picture. The idea was to lay out footpaths uh, through the park. But thanks to amendments that were initiated, among others, by Mr. Brau, uh, they moved the footpath away from the shoreline and deeper into the woods. This is after Flood Beach. And last year, I participated in a collaborative uh, planning group in Sestoresk Beach, where we managed to persuade the developers to interfere with the natural environment as little as possible. They will only replace uh, playground, playgrounds. Again, uh, they will uh, move the access points away from the shore uh, for the disabled people to be able to come onto the shore. I think in general, by and large, we managed to sway the government a little bit. Uh, we also managed to suspend the process of uh, artificially building up land. But as for apartment hotels, this is something where we're not very successful. There used to be an area uh, with a health improvement center. Plus in Gagarka, they are developing new apartment hotel. It's a lot easier even to talk uh, with the government uh, versus uh, business. I guess that's all.